Well, it really doesn't matter what Republicans do. The Democrat Party state media is going to endlessly demonize them anyway. What exactly is the point of this question? Three years into a Democrat presidency where Democrats control the Senate? You'll never know what Democrats are doing wrong, thanks to hacks like Rachel Scott, who's just another leftist Democrat pretending to be somebody you can trust for the news. So that's the kind of deceiver that we're dealing with here. And she asks the Republicans the same tired Democrat narrative line about Mike Johnson and his alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election results, obviously in an attempt to poison the well just as he takes the speaker position. Then North Carolina rep Virginia Fox told her to shut up, something we were all thinking. Now, since Rachel is both a Democrat Party loyalist and checks off all those intersectional boxes, it means you cannot tell her to shut up. That is an attack on democracy. It's an attack on free speech. Your thoughts, can you help the efforts to overturn the 2020 election results? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god, no. By the way, who was that? Okay, I what found Virginia Fox from North Carolina. North Carolina? North Carolina? She's a, yeah. a she said, nasty little woman. She's, wait a minute. Hasn't Biden been telling reporters to f off for a while now? And all these same people thought it was hilarious? No, that is not true. That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a bitch. Right. Uh. <laughs> Ducey says it's good. I'm thankful that Biden apologized and he's yeah. not taking, he's not clutching his pearls and yelling about it. Oh, that was different. Wow, I noticed a total lack of gasps and a prevalence of smiles and laughter. And of course, they're totally not clutching their pearls now. By the way, who was that? Okay, I what found Virginia Fox from North Carolina. North Carolina? Yeah. A nasty little woman. She's the meanest she's, Republican. I looked up there and I saw her say, shut up. And I said, yeah. one, so right rude. away, the words of this are like another example of what people, we don't, we can't say shut up in my house. Excuse me. What? Wait, so let me get this straight. In this divergent parallel universe of standards that we somehow careened into, shut up is a word that can never be spoken. Not even in your own home. Not ever. But calling a reporter a stupid son of a bitch for asking about inflation? Right. Uh. <laughs> to really really do not hate these people enough. Oh, God. And by the way, it was ABC's Rachel Scott who was asking the question. Yeah. Who's a fantastic Capitol Hill reporter. Shut up! And it's an important question. If Did you vote to overturn the election? No. By the way, that whole image kind of reminded me of the scene from The Shining where it's just like all the white folks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. What good partisan propaganda segment would be complete without an attack on white people as scary monsters from a horror movie, which is hilarious. I just love how this creature is supposed to be the Republican on the show, yet literally all she does is attack Republicans, conservatives, and white people. It's a common archetype in the media, the Republican Republican who hates Republicans, but there is no Democrat counterpart. Seriously, just try and think of one. Second, Rachel Scott is not a fantastic reporter. She's a fantastic Democrat propagandist who has never asked this question of a Democrat, despite the fact that it was Democrats who started the whole trend of election denial. Starting in 2000, then again in 2005, and again in 2016. Why not? because the media has never treated Democrat attempts to overturn election results as anything serious. It only became a huge propaganda offensive when Republicans finally tried it. There's literally a video out there showing a full 12 minutes of Democrats denying election results. How can you win with Russian interference though? That's, That's the real what thing. I'm scared about no, in 2020. But, but rightly. Because right. I think he's an illegitimate president that didn't really win. So how do you you know, fight against that in 2020. You are absolutely right. He is an illegitimate president in my mind. Would you be my vice president for candidate? <laughs> Folks, look, I absolutely agree. Trump didn't actually win the election in 2016. He lost the election 
and he was put into office because the Russians interfered. Trump knows he's an illegitimate president. I'm sure that you already know the view wasn't alone and we saw similar hemming and hawing from the talking heads at other networks. That all of course gave Biden a pass for the son of a bitch thing. So just screw these people. All right, folks, that's about all I can take of that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.